With upcoming launches of new rockets and spacecrafts, not to mention the first crewed lunar mission in over half a century. 2024 is set to be a busy year in the space. Now this is Dream Chaser 100, a new upgraded version of the now retired old Dream Chaser space shuttle. The DC-100 is 30 feet long, yet four times smaller than the previous version. Interestingly, the space shuttle can be docked at a standard runway instead of tailor-made space ports and launch pads. Another spacecraft set for flight this year is Blue Origin's new Glen Rocket. Part of the space tourism mission, Glen Rocket will take tourists and researchers to the Earth's orbit. The rocket has been named after John Glenn, the first American astronaut to reach orbit. Now, Blue Origin says its first stage will be reused at least 25 times to decrease launch costs. In fact, that's not all. American aircraft giant Boeing will have the first crewed flight test of its reusable Starliner capsule. It's designed to take astronauts to the International Space Station. Meanwhile, this year in June or July, the European Space Agency is expected to launch its delayed Ariane 6 rocket, almost a year after the now-retired Ariane 5's last flight. If successful, Ariane 6 will restore Europe's access to space from a spaceport in French Guyana and stop its reliance on companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX. NASA too has some interesting space missions in the pipeline. In October, NASA will launch its Europa Clipper, a spacecraft dedicated to study the Galilean moon. Europa looks like well, the 2024 will end with a blank. Well, the space industry, at least. NASA has announced that they'll attempt the launch of their Artemis II mission by the end of 2024. NASA successfully launched Artemis I. That was an uncrewed lunar mission in 2022. 